Components of food Introduction Food is required for growth and maintenance of the body and also to protect us from diseases. We eat a large variety of foods and people from different parts of our country have different food habits. Some people prefer rice. Others take chapatis or meat and fish. In this chapter, we shall learn about the components of food. Nutrients in food. There are seven essential components or substances called nutrients in our food. These are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, mineral salts, vitamins, water and fibre, also called roughage. Of these carbohydrates, proteins and fats are the three main components. Presence of proteins. Materials required. You need raw egg white or any other protein sample, copper sulphate, blue vitriol solution, caustic soda and test tube. Take egg white in water in a test tube. Add 2 to 3 drops of copper sulphate solution and 10 to 12 drops of caustic soda solution. Shake well. What do you observe? A purple or violet colour indicates the presence of proteins in the given sample. Presence of starch in food. Materials required. You need a slice of bread or potato, iodine solution, dropper. Place a drop of iodine solution on the food sample. What do you observe? Blue-black colour where iodine solution is applied, indicating the presence of starch. Presence of fats in food. Materials required. Butter or a drop of oil. Piece of white paper. Rub a small amount of butter on the paper or put a drop of oil on the paper. Let the paper dry. Hold it in front of a source of light. What do you observe? The paper becomes smooth, oily and less transparent. Some light can pass through it. Note, kerosene and petrol also make paper transparent, but these are not food materials and do not contain fat. Carbohydrates. These are the common energy-giving compounds. Food rich in carbohydrates are potato, sweet potato, bread, rice, wheat, honey, common sugar, jaggery, gur, and milk. Most processed foods like pizza, burger, jams, jellies, and noodles are rich in carbohydrates. Fats. These are also energy-giving foods producing more energy than carbohydrates. Fat-rich foods are milk products such as butter and cheese. Vegetable oil such as coconut oil, groundnut oil, nuts, milk and animal fat from meat. Fats provide more than double the energy provided by carbohydrates or proteins. Proteins. These are body-building foods. Proteins help the body in its growth and repair of body cells and tissues, protect and help the body to fight against infections and regulate body functions. Protein sources of plant origin include pulses, soya bean, peas, and to a lesser extent, cereals, meat, eggs, cheese, milk, and fish provide proteins of animal origin. Mineral salts. Mineral salts are important for various body functions. They are required in small quantities and are obtained from the food we take. Minerals have no energy value. Rich sources are milk, cheese, green leafy vegetables like spinach, pulses, meat and eggs. Salts of calcium and phosphorus are required for making bones and teeth hard and for promoting blood clotting in our body. Deficiency Iron is essential for forming hemoglobin, a component of our blood the deficiency of which causes anemia. Green leafy vegetables, 
eggs, ground nuts and liver are good sources of iron. Iodine, another mineral, controls the functioning of an important gland, thyroid. Deficiency of iodine leads to goiter. Iodized salt, fish and seafood are the sources of this mineral. Vitamins Vitamins are neither body-building nor energy-giving food but are very important for proper functioning of our bodies. They are required by the body in very small quantities. Green leafy vegetables, fruits, milk, eggs and cheese are rich in vitamins. Water Water is indispensable. About 70% of our body weight is that of water. It helps the body in various functions. It is a means of transporting substances in the organism. It helps to maintain a constant body temperature. Water helps in the absorption of food and excretion of waste products from the body. Our body needs 2 to 3 litres of water every day. Roughage, fibre. Fibre is found in vegetables, fruits, beans and cereals. It has no nutritive value but prevents constipation and is necessary for proper functioning of the digestive system. Ideally, our food should contain sufficient fibres, types of food, energy-giving foods like carbohydrates and fats, body-building or growth-promoting foods like proteins and protective foods, vitamins and minerals. Balanced diet A diet containing all the nutrients in their proper quantities is known as the balanced diet. In a balanced diet, energy-giving foods, body-building foods and protective foods are present in correct proportions. The balanced diet of a 10 to 12 year old child may consist of two cups of cooked cereals, half a cup of cooked pulses, two cups of milk, a small quantity of cooked green leafy vegetables and a seasonal fruit. Balanced diet. A balanced diet varies with age, health and occupation. For example, a labourer doing manual work needs more carbohydrates and fats in his diet which would provide him more energy. A young child needs to take more proteins as they help in bodybuilding. Imbalance in diet Diseases due to imbalance in diet are shown in the table. Deficiency of carbohydrates Deficiency of sufficient carbohydrates in the diet leads to body weakness and loss of stamina as sufficient quantity of energy is not available to the body for performing various functions. Deficiency of proteins Serious diseases like Quashiacher and Marasmus develop in children if the proteins are not sufficient in their diet. It is for this reason that the children are often advised to take a protein-rich diet, enough milk, pulses, eggs, meat and fish. Quasiacre Symptoms of quasiacre are protruding belly, dark and scaly skin, brownish hair, stunted growth, usually underweight, swollen legs due to accumulation of water, loss of appetite, anemia, mental retardation and reduced resistance to diseases. Marasmus Symptoms of marasmus are poor muscle development, bones showing through the skin, no fat, weak legs, loss of appetite, anemia, grossly underweight, mental retardation and reduced resistance to diseases. Protein energy malnutrition PEM 
a term used to describe diet which lack proteins and energy-giving carbohydrates. Diseases caused by PEM are common among children. Quashiacre and marasmus are diseases which result from PEM. Deficiency Deficiency diseases due to vitamins and minerals are listed in the table given. Vitamins and minerals are required in small quantities and are important for the normal functioning of our body.